Hello, Form C. Uh, this is how you do the balancing act, uh, part three, mystery objects. Okay, mystery objects. So here in the, we've got it set up where we have the level clicked, we have the marks clicked. Uh, and so we have bricks to be able to use. We can also use people, uh, but we're trying to find out what is the mass of these mystery objects. So I'm gonna take mystery object A, and I'm gonna make it easy on me. I'm gonna do it on the one to start off with because then whatever, times one is going to equal um, this. And then I'm going to go to the bricks and I'm going to start off and I'm going to try five. We'll see how that goes. Take away the supports. So I know that the torque is greater on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, not uh, working out. So I'm going to bring my five to the two. That was a little better. Two times five, I got a torque of 10. Five times three, torque of 15. Oops. Let's see about on the four. Uh, I think we got it. So here on the right-hand side, four times five is 20. So I have a torque of 20 on the right-hand side. So that must mean I have a torque of 20 on this side. 20 divided by one equals 20. So for mystery objects A, it would be 20 kilograms, 20 kilograms. All right, let's take a look at B. So we'll get rid of A. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it on the one and oop, that's a little bit too heavy. So I'm going to bring it back here. Oh, not enough. So it's got to be less than a torque of 10. Bring it on the one. Oh, that seems to work. I got five times one on the right-hand side. So I have a torque of five on the right. So I have to have a torque of five on the left. Divide by the one. So B has to have a mass of five kilograms. Five kilograms. All right, let's try C. I'm going to put C on the one. Ooh, it's a little bit heavier here. I'm gonna go here, let's see. Oh, torque of 10 is not enough. Let's try a torque of three. Three times five is 15. Oh, that looks like it's gonna balance out. So I have five times three is my 15 torque on the right-hand side times one. Wow, it works off just fine. If I wanted to, I could have also just gotten rid of the five kilogram here and I could have done the 15, put it on the one and that'll work as well. So C is 15 kilograms. Great. All right, we'll get rid of that one and C. Let's try D. Okay, so I put D on the one, and so I'm gonna grab my bricks again, and let's try five on the one. Uh, not enough. Five on the two, and that seems to work. So five times two is 10. So I have a torque of 10 on the right-hand side, so I have a torque of 10 on the left-hand side. 10 divided by one gives me 10, so D, is 10 kilograms. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get rid of D. Let's move to E. So I'll put E here, and five times two is too much, so I'll bring it here. Huh, not enough. Now here's an interesting thing. This is different than the other ones before. I know that E, the mass of E, has to be less than five. But I, I don't I don't have a math, I don't have a brick that's less than five to put here on the scale. So I've got to do a little bit of math trick. So let's try uh, if I put it, I, I know it's less than five. So if I put it here on the two, that's not gonna work so well. And if I put this on the two, that's not gonna work. Um, how about if I put uh, this all the way out on the five? Hmm, five times something. And then maybe if I bring this over here to the three. Oh, getting it? Yes, there it is. So five times three is a torque of 15 on the right, and then 15 divided by five. So then the mass of E, if I have 15 torque over here and divide that by five, the mass of E has to be three, which makes sense. We determined that it was less than five. And so the mass of E is three kilograms. We could have also used the 15 here. That helps people understand that a little bit easier. So one times 15 is 15. So torque of 15 on the right, torque of 15 on the left. All right, time to move to F. E was a little tricky there. So F, I'm gonna put here on the one. I'm gonna go back to my five. I like the five, it makes things a little easier. So put that on there, oh, not enough. Oops, let's bring it out here. Ooh, not even close. All the way up to eight, uh, five times. Eight is 40, and that still is not enough to do that. Let's go to the 10. Let's do there. 
Mm, 10 times 4, that's the 40. That's just like what we had. Let's do 10 times 5. Uh, there we go. Nice. So 5 times 10, we have a torque of 50 on the right. So then we'll have a torque of 50 on the left. So F must be 50 kilograms. F is 50 kilograms. All right, time to do G. Put G there. And go back to my five. So, nope, not enough. I'm getting there. I'm, not, I'm gonna torque a 20 there. Let's see here on the five. Gonna balance me out. Yep. So five times five is 25. So I have a torque of 25 on the right hand side. So then I have to have a torque of 25 on the left hand side, divide by one. So G is 25 kilograms, 25 kilograms. All right, last mystery object is H. So that's too much. Let's bring this here to two. Mm -hmm. 10 torque is too much, so maybe it's a five. Nope, so it's gotta be somewhere between five and 10. See that? It's 10 torque is too much, and five torque is too little. So we're it's similar to E where we gotta do a couple of tricks here. Let's see, um, why don't we bring this to a two, and maybe we bring this to a three. Let's see if that works. Oh, that balances us out. So we have a torque, three times five is 15. So we have a torque of 15 on the right. And then we must have a torque of 15 on the left. So 15 divided by two, 7.5 kilograms. A little bit of a fraction there. 7.5 or seven and a half kilograms for H. I hope this was helpful in doing part three mystery objects of our balancing act lab. Thank you.